Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading, and we are going to be focusing on the lessons that you have experienced, the growth that you experienced, and then also we want to dive into the blessing that you will receive because of the growth, because of the lessons, because of the challenges. Now the time of me filming this, Saturn is about to go direct after being retrograde since April. Now this reading will be timeless, but it still is bringing in the energy of Saturn, which challenges us, which makes us it requires us to grow up. It requires us to evolve, to become our highest version of ourselves when it comes to being mature and building stability. But at the same time, it can break down a lot of things that we wanted to hold on to that we thought were really solid. So I've been seeing it for my clients. I've been seeing it for myself, my friends, and my family, how they've been challenged. So hopefully this will provide a little insight and guidance and clarity as far as that. Now, when it comes to the cards that it is I'm using, all those cards will be listed down below. There are crystals and um, Lenormand card decks that are part of the reading that are going to be on top that you can use to choose the pile that you know, you're know you drawn to the most. And the timestamps will be in the description box and also pinned in the comments for you. I also am going to be working with this deck too, shuffling and pulling some additional messages because I just felt like I should. That being said, let me go ahead and give you a chance to look at the card options. Feel free to pause the video and take your time to pick one or multiple decks, and then I'll see you at your timestamp. Okay, so for those that picked pile number one or this crystal here, these are the cards that I have pulled for you. Also the well and the snake. So I'm going to put these aside for now. Let's talk about the lessons first. Let's talk about the challenges first. So we have the humpback whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. Then we have conclusion. Queen of swords. Four of wands. Ten of Swords, and we have the Broken Mirror, the Lightning Bolt, and the Key. I'm not really sure why this is, but the first thing that's coming to me, and the first word that I hear is dis um, delusion. And then when I say that, delusion, I hear the word deception, or I feel the word deception. And I feel like when I'm saying the word delusion, it's not that you are actively or that you were actively in a space where people were intentionally trying to lie to you or you were trying to lie to yourself or that you were de being de um, deceived in that way. Sometimes it's how we see the world and this um, vision that we have for ourselves. It's like it bleeds into our reality and we will choose things that look very similar to this grand vision that it is that we have but when we receive that thing that looks very similar to the gift that god has for us or the gift that the divine has for us and we receive it it's it like it cracks it cracks in our hands it's fractured it's like if you are trying to manifest abundance and you put that out, to, out there to the universe and you're going on this journey to seek the abundance and you find this chunk of gold or it seems like it's gold and you're like oh my gosh this is it I found it and then you feel like you struck it big and then when you go to the pawn shop or when you go to use it in a way that abundance is used you know what I mean to buy something or to do an exchange you realize that it starts to fracture or someone tells you like look this is not real gold this is just a chunk of fool's gold or a chunk of um, copper or whatever and it's not valuable at all and if you just wipe it off with some nail polish remover you will see that this is spray paint and how disappointing that is i don't know why that is what is coming through but i feel like that has been the major lesson that you've been experiencing within your life is kind of cutting out this delusion kind of cutting out this fantasy it's not that this vision that you have for yourself or this thing that you're trying to manifest isn't going to happen it's just that you found something that looked very similar to it it almost mirrored the same sound to it it almost mirrored the same 
um, vibration that you thought, but at, not not even vibration, but it looked very similar to what it is that you wanted for yourself. And then when you dug a little deeper and when push comes to shove, you realize like this is actually not at all what I thought this would be. And that is the main lesson that Saturn is teaching you. It's not to punish you and it's not to say that you are not going to receive this blessing, but it's to teach you discernment. So we don't want you to just pick anything that shows up within your life and say, okay, yes, this is it. You want to allow yourself to take the time to discover the truth of what that is, who this person is, instead of you just kind of throwing yourself into it and believing just anything for the sake of believing it. You have to kind of dig a little deeper and get to the bottom, the root of certain things. Now that I'm looking at this, when I'm seeing the humpback whale, yeah, it uh, like with, with the humpback whale, they, they call out, but they're working with vibrations. There's something about vibrations and the energy that it is that you receive. And I feel like if you were holding on to something as, to, to bring me back to my example, when you're holding on to, to gold, it has like a, a vibration to it. It has like a heaviness to it that would con be confirmed in your spirit. Like you would just know intuitively, yes, this is actually a piece of gold through your experiences. Um, that have proven themselves again and again and again versus you holding on to copper, it feeling different and also not being as heavy and you knowing that it's not as valuable. But the only way that you would learn that is through your experiences by holding on to it, by experiencing disappointment and then learning how to kind of discern um, what it is that you will invest in the things that you won't okay so that's what i'm seeing and then when i see the card conclusion i see the key the lightning bolt the broken glass the queen of swords the ten of swords um we're seeing the snake the well the letter this is information that's coming through that you're picking up that you've heard that you've received and it kind of it's kind of shocking it's kind of disappointing but don't let that defeat you i really feel like these are things that you've said goodbye to that you've totally released that you totally let go of and now you're stepping into a space where you're actually hopefully going to have a little bit more security because ultimately that's what it is that you want for yourself am i right you you want security you want the four of wands type of energy around you and when we see cards like this the conclusion card and the ten of swords this truly to me looks like you know, this is the end. This I'm not going back there. I'm not doing that again. And you learn from your experiences. The Queen of Swords knows all about it. Look at her holding her gun. She's like, you know what? You come to me again bringing the same type of energy, and I'm going to light that ass up with bullets. <laughs> Hopefully that's not something that you would do, especially in today's times. But, uh, yeah, lesson learned, right? It is what it is. Okay, so now let's look at the blessing. What is the blessing that is here for you? So we have sensitivity. This card right here connects me right back to what it was that I was feeling, which is when you hold on to a certain thing or you're, you know, something comes into your life and it's something you can tangibly, tangibly hold on to or it's something that you energetically feel. It's like a chemistry, a bond, a connection. When you hold on to it, you'll get vibrations from it. You'll get intuitive hunches. And the more sensitive you are to it, the more sensitive you are to receiving those, the more you're able to pick those those vibrations up. So I'm seeing that that's a gift that the universe has actually given to you is to heighten that sensitivity so you can pick up on the vibrations of a person, of a thing, of a circumstance, of an event, instead of you being disillusioned by it. Separation is so important because I think that as you're separating yourself, you're reconnecting back to yourself. You're really reconnecting back to your own energy and what feels good and right for you. Then we have the Bone Collector and the Talisman. So with these two cards, these two cards instantly connect to the lessons that it is that you've learned. And they're not in vain. They have taught you such a strong lesson when it comes to learn from this, experience this, grow from this, so that you can um, receive more for yourself. It's, it's definitely not in vain. These things actually are helping to pave the way for your future so that you can actually um, experience and invest in something that has more value than you, again, holding on to this copper, this nickel, and pretending that or hoping and being disillusioned and thinking that it's gold. Your experiences are helping actually to shape the way for the rest of your future. That is the biggest blessing. And I think that anything that was separated from you during that time of, you know, this major lesson, this major transition is definitely for, for your 
highest and greatest good. Look at this. We have enchantment, we have divine guidance, and we have dreams. Now, enchantment is a double-edged sword as I'm looking at this because this is ways that we have this dream for ourselves. Oh my gosh, look, dream. We have this dream, this vision that we have for ourselves that comes through us, that comes to us while we're sleeping or while we're meditating or we feel it within our spirit. We feel it within our heart. And we, we, you recognize that. That is something that's divinely being, being given to you, that is divinely um, you know, set in place in order to guide you, in order to help you to see that this is something that is truly in your future, right? But at the same time, when it comes to enchantment, you can see something for the potential or you can see something for what you thought it was and be disillusioned and be um, disappointed by that. But it doesn't take away from the gift, the enchantment, the blessing that's going to happen within your life. At the same time, I feel like for some of you guys, this just came through. Divine guidance, right? So many of you guys have rooted yourself in logical thinking. So many of you guys have rooted yourself in realistic thinking. And by doing that, you have disconnected you have separated yourself from spirit, from this divine plan for your life, this enchanted um, vision, this enchanted relationship, this enchanted dream, essentially. You've separated yourself from that. And what has happened is that you've actually lost some really solid connections like a lightning bolt because and broken glass once that thing is shattered and broken how can you pick up the pieces from that how can it be healed and the universe is trying to tell you and trying to guide you and tell you that look there is a calling out there that is so deep that it's like a vibration a feeling chemistry that can't be replicated that you have been drawn to but you've also um have almost neglected that you've almost said no this isn't real so this these cards are teaching you look love is everything chemistry is everything connection is everything and you have separated yourself from this greater vision from this magic because you cannot understand it because it's not logically explained because it's not realistically explained and now it's time for you to learn the blessing right now is for you to actually be divinely guided being divinely guided doesn't mean that it makes sense to you all the time. In fact, you know, these experiences are set in motion to teach you that you doing things and you making decisions based upon the old ways, these old bones, you know, learn from this, learn from these experiences. There's something bigger and better out there for you. Love in spite of it all was the next card that came. And it's like, look, connect, have the courage to follow your heart, to follow this chemistry, to follow this vibration that cannot be replaced, that cannot be um, replicated. You've experienced it once. I don't think that it's truly the end. Maybe um, when I'm looking at this, this um, little clock here, I feel like it's like tick, 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 like time is everything. And yeah, you know, these things have happened to you in the past. Um, but I still see abundance here. I still see blessing. I still see, you know, it's almost like, um, like, um, like a healer or an intuitive that comes to you and gives a prophecy to you and says that through vibrations, it's this message through vibrations, it's the things that they can feel, the things that you can feel. I feel like the healer and the intuitive is only confirming the things that you've been feeling and knowing within your heart and soul and spirit, but you just needed to hear someone say it. But despite it all, I feel like you have to have the courage really to not think about, you know, how it's going to manifest, how this is going to work out and just keep approaching it from a space of love. Just because it seems like a miracle, just because it seems so magical, and just because this, this person or this thing seems like so out of touch with reality because it's such a dream, doesn't mean that that's not real. Show up with love, for real. Show up with love. That's the blessing that this universe wants to give you or that God wants to give you to connect you back to that ultimate dream for yourself, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for cards number one. Let's move on to number two. All right, so for card number two, for those that picked this crystal or this snake, behind the snake is the ship. So I'm gonna put these on the side and I'm gonna put the blessing cards on the side and we're going to talk about the lesson. The cards that I pulled for you when it comes to the lessons that you've learned recently, the things that have challenged you, we have the gorilla. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. Fragment. Temperance. 
Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. All of these cards were reversed. And then also we have the Safe, the Heart, and the Anchor. I'm not sure why this is, but with the Gorilla, um, with the Gorilla card, I'm seeing a connection to community and family. I think that um, there's a stubbornness here. <laughs> there's a stubbornness and an imbalance, and I'm not sure why. I feel as though... I feel as though you might have been feeling isolated or disconnected from your tribe or disconnected from people or a place that resonates with you. It feels like you've been broken. It feels like you've been split apart or maybe someone in your environment, someone important to you has been really taking some hits here and there's like a separation, a distance. That could be a physical distance or an, an actual energetic emotional distance where it feels like they're so separate and I feel like um, this is people not completely saying what it is that they've been experiencing or their struggles they're not asking for help they're not connecting with others there's a stubbornness that comes with this the other thing that I see is a need to ask for help I don't know if I said that just now but it's like a need to kind of work with others. And again, it brings me back to the energy of stubbornness where you feel like, or someone feels like, I can do this all by myself. I'm going to do this all by myself. Well, you know, it's not required of you to do that. In fact, it's better if you connect with the group, if you connect with the collective, if you ask people what it is that they want, or if you ask people what they need. Let's say you have a business um, and you're serving clients. Well, what's the best way that you can serve them? You have to ask them for their needs. This is going to help to provide um, some more um, direction for you when it comes to the energy that you're exerting and how you're putting it out there. The word that's actually coming through to me is bravado and um, it connects to the ego which is like I'm this I can do this I don't need anyone but the reality is is that you do and I think that you might have been experiencing imbalance or a few breakdowns or a few disappointments and frustrating moments and you have everything within your heart and within your will in order to make it happen in order to make it occur maybe you've been having some imbalance when it comes to finances or where your priorities go what is most valuable to you to you when it comes to your time and your effort and again instead of asking for help and instead of asking for guidance or asking for guidance you felt as though I'm gonna do this by myself and then as you did that I feel like you kind of dug yourself a deeper hole it's interesting to me because we have cards of security, stability showing up all throughout this uh, reading, but I see this as um, money and commitment, but more than that, the word is what is the most valuable to, to me. I almost want to like write it down, like what is, like I feel like maybe you need to write down what are my top priorities, what are my values, what is so important to me, what is non-negotiable, especially when I'm seeing the anchor, the heart, and the safe here, these are things that you need to protect. Um, some people, you know, right now what is most val valuable to you is actually ac accumulating wealth and security for yourself. Um, but at some point, I feel like there's something that is being neglected or there's something that's being forgotten or, you know, left aside and left astray and that person is feeling broken down or separated um, or you're disconnected from your family, if your family unit. This is not to place blame on you or to say, you know, how could you do this because I feel like you were driven. I feel like you were motivated. When we see the Ace of Wands, this is all about our passion, the things that are igniting us and the things that it is that we want to do. But at the same time, I feel like you're at a point where you are learning and the universe has been testing you when it comes to creating a bond, creating community, com um, creating a family unit that is strong. And it's not all about what it looks like on the external. It's about how it feels and how supported you are and how supported you're being. I actually kind of want to shuffle some more cards when it comes to this. So let me see what jumps out. Something about the gorilla is really standing out to me, so let's go ahead. And the word bravado still. Yeah, I feel this is five of cups reversed. This is um, emotionally, you know, something has been neglected here while someone was doing something of importance of value. 
Maybe it was you. Maybe there's people around you. Your family's been so distracted by other things that you've been, yeah, or maybe it's mentally you're just needing to move forward. Six of Swords. What's going on for this group, number two? What's Queen of, Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, information that's being shared, things that you hear, things that you find out. It just kind of feels like it's it's left you broken. It feels like it's left you out in the cold. You feel totally disconnected. But the thing is, is that, um, again, this, this is designed to show you what is most important and most valuable to you. This is when we learn in that point in our lives that money does not buy happiness and things don't make us happy, things don't make us feel complete. It's having a space that we belong, having things that ignite us, that we're passionate about, building our finances, our resources through that, and having the um, blessing of being able to share that abundance and that blessing that we've received with the people that it is that we like and that we love, that we like and that we love. That is what is most valuable to us. And I'm seeing how fractured and separated and pulled away from that you've actually felt out of, and maybe in an imbalance, it feels like the family unit has been pulled apart, at least temporarily, or at least it feels like everybody's distracted by separate things or getting pulled in different directions. They're being drawn in different areas to the point where it feels like the unit, the strength, the stability of the family is kind of disconnected. Meanwhile, you have some people that are very successful or that you're experiencing success, but even in that success and in that bravado, in that, oh my God, look at what it is that I've done, it feels like you've actually been separating from people more. Maybe this is friends or family or community that's actually jealous of you and not supportive of you and doesn't Maybe at first they were celebrating your success and seeing how good it was and how great it was. And now all of a sudden it's just like, ew, you know, we're not experiencing that. So we can't celebrate with you or we're tired of it or done hearing of it or whatever the case is. But it just feels like you need people around you um, during this time. What's been challenging you is that you feel like you're separate from the community or a tribe or a space that is that you truly belong. Um, especially when it comes to business and creating security for yourself and, you know, solid, solid, solid things. What is most important to you is how you make your money and how you create, um, you know, a safety net for yourself and not having to compromise, not having to do something that it is that you don't like and doing too much of that and how it exhausts you and how it depletes you and how it keeps you in a space of lack instead of you receiving more. Okay, so that's what it is I'm seeing with these cards. Now let me go ahead and move on to your blessing. So the card, don't back down. Stand up for what it is that you believe is right. New beginnings, surrender and release, forgiveness, trust, contentment, spark, and do something new, do something different. So this, again, is showing me about your abundance, what is most important to you, what is most valuable to you. There are two things that are coming through for, for this group. Number one, it's about how you make your money and what is most valuable to you with that. It's not always about stacking coins as much as it is doing something that is, that is passionate about you, that ignites you, that is it, it fills your spirit. But also what I'm seeing is reconnecting with the tribe, your family unit, especially when I'm seeing this woman coming to this man when it says trust and this little angel here, it's like, it, I just see him as being hesitant and her being like, please, you know what, take me back. And then this card, forgiveness, surrender and release and new beginnings, don't back down. This is like, look, I, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up and I want you to forgive me. I want you to release this. I want you to surrender your ego, your bravado and come back and let's build this connection. Let's build this spark. And this is something that I don't want to let go of. This is something that is very important to me and let's do something different this time. We've learned from it through our experiences. This is not exactly what it is that we value and now let's build a solid unit around us that is just magical and that is going to be the new beginning for us but there's a lot of trust and security and stability that is physical and emotional and mental that needs to be rebuilt I don't think that it's hopeless I think that forgiveness is something that you know comes with time and it's just a matter of just being totally open and vulnerable and I don't think that this is something that you should you know, give up on. There's this energy of fire that I keep seeing with the spark and don't back down. And there are some cards in this pile, the Ace of Wands, I believe. Yeah, the Ace of Wands that shows me that there is a new spark here and it's connected to the heart. 
the heart chakra with all these greens, but it's also connected to abundance and security for yourself and feeling safe within a relationship and feeling secure within how you're making your money and what is most valuable to you. Now, I know that that's kind of, that was a very specific reading, but that's what I was getting for those who picked number two. And then also you pick this green card that is connected to, or this green crystal that's connected to security and also heart healing. So that's pretty significant. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my number threes. All right, for my number threes, and for those who picked this little guy or the star card within the Lenormand, you have the star, the owl, and the key. So the lesson that you've learned, I'm gonna put the blessing over on the side and we're gonna dive into the lesson first, is the repairs, I never know how to say this, um, it warns against assaults which threaten and will occur sooner or later according to the distance from the person. We have agreements, we have the home card, we have two of pentacles reversed, four of swords, the hermit, we have the card of belonging that also connects to the home and the octop octopus. Practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. The first thing that I'm seeing that is standing out to me is this connection of the home environment and needing rest or at least disconnecting from whatever the external is in order for you to connect to the internal. I mean, come on, you have this house here, the card of the house. You have the card of belonging, which is the home. We have the hermit card and the four of swords. So these are things that are pulling you at this point in your life to resting and the word that just came through is rehabilitation. This is a person who has gone through and experienced a lot. They are probably tired or probably exhausted. Some of this is not just inside the home environment, but it's when you go out into the world and you feel like you don't belong there. It feels like you know, these people, they don't have your intentions. They don't have good intentions for you. You're constantly feeling like you're on guard. You have to question their motives. Who are you? Why is it Why is it that you're wanting to work with me? Why do you want to be a part of my life? Why are you showing up? Why is this here? There's a deeper question that you need to ask, or there's a deeper answer to the questions that is that you're asking, and it's there for a good reason. I feel like this is something that you've been called to do, and that's kind of been a really big challenge to you, It's and it really kind of breaks trust. What is your motives? What are we doing here? I'm doing too much. You're doing too much, meaning like I could physically, mentally be, be taking on too much, but also other people, it's like, you're doing like, you know when you say to a friend, you know, you're, you're doing too much right now, like can you calm down, like you're, this is offensive, you're being disrespectful, you know, sit down, like have a seat. You wanna connect with people, your intention is for good, but it doesn't seem like others are in that same way they don't have the same intention for you as you do for them. Then we have the octopus card here that says practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. I mean, truly this is like, you have the, these two or these owls that are trying to see something for what it is and get to the meat of it and zero in in all of the darkness. And then you have the octopus that's constantly moving around and molding itself and pulling itself along the surface. Not to say that one animal is better than the other one, but it just goes to show like, what are your intentions? What are your motives? And then you have a person who just wants to kind of disconnect from all of that. So let's say this isn't other people. Sometimes this is actually you. And this is something that you have learned to do is to be something other than yourself in order to achieve and accomplish a thing. You know what I mean? So let's say you're in a role in your job that requires you to be hard in order to you know, deliver some difficult news to someone and that's just not who you are to your core and every day you show up, it almost feels like a disrespect to your spirit and who you are as, as, a, as a person. Let's say you're in a job of customer service or you're in a job of selling and you're selling something that you don't even believe in. It just feels so disconnected from who you are in your spirit and your soul and the universe at this point is like, look, you actually have a destiny that is bigger than you pretending to be something other than you are. Let's say you're in a relationship where you don't feel like it's at home or you don't feel at home within with that partner. You don't feel at home within yourself. You're asking yourself, is this truly where I belong? 
or maybe your home environment is something that you separated from or your family is something that you separated from but you're really asking yourself look these things that we're doing they don't resonate with me they don't resonate with my spirit and for that reason I feel called to do something else I feel called to go somewhere else in a lot of ways I feel like you might have shut down so that's something that currently you've been going through this lesson is to not compromise any aspect of yourself and you might not even realize that you've been doing it. It's those things that you say yes to that you don't want to say yes to. It's those things that you say no to that you really want to say yes to. Those those choices that you make, they kind of disrespect your spirit and the things that you ultimately would like to experience for yourself or things that you would be able to receive. It's about having boundaries but with others but also having boundaries with yourself and knowing asking yourself why is it that I'm saying yes to this why am I saying yes to this why am I saying no to this what is the real reason and if I'm saying yes to it is it is it a healthy choice or is it an unhealthy choice and I have to question your my own motives you know what I mean so that's what it is that I'm seeing here because I feel like these cards when they're showing up they're asking you to really reflect on the decisions that you've made what you're allowing into your life um, what you co-sign for and how that respects you and works with you or dis um, how it respects you or disrespects you and what you are agreeing to say yes to what you are linking up with by being like all right this is cool and in the meantime I feel like there's this space of quiet and disconnection and pulled back from the rest of the world that you've been experiencing almost like you come out when everybody else is quiet when everything else is dark and that's when you kind of do some soul searching or you run your errands or whatever there's like this disconnection of I really want to be away from the rest of the world even if you are public let's say you have a YouTube channel right like for example like me I have a YouTube channel and I share a lot of information but a lot of me is kind of pulled back and away from everyone and that's because that's what I need for my own spirit so this could be a lesson for me too when it comes to you know rising up and the shape shifting like this is what it is that I have to do or this is what it is that I want to do in order to get my message out because I truly feel like this is where I belong that I'm doing what it is that I love and taking that into consideration and taking that seriously but also you know when that's done and when the cameras are off I go back into my little world into my little shell with my people my tribe my personal you know intimate tribe like my family and my close friends and I just kind of disconnect I read my books I chill and I don't have everybody reaching out for me and asking me questions in my personal life they just pretty much respect the fact that I need rest too you know what I mean it's not always about the message it's not always about linking up you know but I feel like there's some additional messages that come that is going to come through for this group yeah these guys jumped out yeah ten of wands and knight of swords this is too much you're taking on too much you've taken on too much on your spirit you've taken too much on your mind the things that you're hearing they feel like an assault to you or being too connected to the outside world it feels like an assault it doesn't feel um good good to your energy right now i feel like you're taking on or you've taken on too much that's why there's this energy of i gotta stay home i have to find the place that i belong i have to disconnect so that is one of the lessons. Now let's look at the blessings. So we have divine timing, we have friendship, we have spiritual growth, what you give will come back, self-love, wizard of awareness, true love, sorceress, and unrequited love. Okay, so these cards are drawing me right back to the handshake, which is working in agreement, working in alignment, and linking up with those who have your best interests at heart and I feel like that was one of the reasons why you pulled back from the rest of the world for some time or you needed to be in the home environment or you needed to be in that hermetic stage of asking yourself these questions in this darkened space you know what is for me what do I want for myself what do I love and you are tired exhausted of giving so much of yourself to the external world when you need rest when you need people that are around you that are not there to take from you that's what I'm seeing with this unrequited love it's like it almost puts conditions on the energy that you've put out there 
This isn't just love relationships, although that's important too. This is the jobs or the friendships and the connections or the energy that you're putting out that is not being requited, that you're not receiving in return. And then when we see this, what you give will come back, that is the blessing that the universe is now trying to give you is something that is definitely all yours without a doubt, without question. And I also am seeing boundaries that are there for self-love, right? So some of the things that it is that you're putting out there, some of the energy, the love, the vibrations, the goodness that you're putting out there has been, you know, something that you don't even really truly want to do. That's what I was saying earlier with those cards. It just seems like what you're doing doesn't resonate with who you are. It's not truly what it is that you should be doing, what your spirit is calling you to do and to do all things out of love, not out of conditions. And that is essentially a part of your spiritual growth. That is a part of the lessons that is that you need to learn that it's not all about like, hey, you don't need to have access to me just because we're friends or just because you're my partner, or just because you're my boss. Not everybody needs to have access to me. In fact, this is the card of detachment and how important it is sometimes to, to detach yourself from even your intimate relationships in order to find yourself again for your own spiritual growth so that you know exactly what it is that you want to call in especially when it comes to things that you want to receive. So sometimes you're getting something from someone you don't actually want it, but you've been saying yes to it and you've been receiving it just because you're like, okay, thanks. But that's not what it is that you want. And it almost is kind of disrespectful to the person who's giving it to you. And it's almost, and definitely disrespectful to you if you're giving it to someone else and they don't actually appreciate it. So what I'm seeing is you disconnecting and reconnecting back to your spirit. Again, detaching a little bit, detaching from the rest of the world, connecting with the things that it is that you truly love and getting exactly what you've been putting out there, now it seems to be coming back, okay? And that's something that you are manifesting, that's sorcery, okay? That's magic. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. That is you right now. And that comes in perfectly with divine timing. So this is relationships, friendships, connections, and I can't stop rubbing my nose because spirit and angels are definitely active right now at our altar, at the altar. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to number four. Okay, for those that chose this cherry red little beauty and the star card, we have the polar bear, we have the fox, and we have the star, the card of guidance. I'm going to put these aside, and then I'm going to put also aside the cards that are your blessing. This is what's coming for you, coming to you because of the lessons that is that you've learned. And now let's go ahead and dive into the actual lessons that you've learned. Okay, so the first thing, oh gosh, the first thing that we see is the eye card, the tree of good health near flowers, fulfillment of highest hopes, the park, new love. This card says it brings new love and if very distant, false friends. Then we have four of pentacles, reversed, the Hierophant, reversed, Three of Cups, reversed, Loyalty, the Warrior, and the Shark. So I hate to dive into this so hard, heavy, and aggressive, but this kind of reminds me of third party type situations. This is where you have been sensing that someone is not does not have your best interest at heart, you've been not only sensing it, but you've been seeing signs or maybe you've been actively looking for it. Um, and the disappointment, the frustration, the sneakiness of it all, the intentions of it all are just a disappointment to say the least, heartbreak. It feels like you had something or you felt like you had something really solid and all of that got tested. All of that got broken down. If this is not a relationship, this could 1000% be about your personal vitality and your health. This could be something that was sneaking, you know, something that you had a sense of that there was an imbalance or you thought that your health was solid and it comes through and it shocks you. It, it comes through and you find out that there is something there that was uh, testing your health and testing your energy and, and questioning, you know, am I a healthy person? And it could, it could come out of nowhere. When I'm seeing the shark card here, trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. And then the eye card and the fox card and the bear card and loyalty reversed and three of cups reversed. It's just too much. It's too much when it comes to feeling deceived and feeling like, you know, questioning someone's motives and finding out that 
that person, that thing does not have your best interest at heart and maybe has been sneaking away or lying or, you know, and it calls you to be a protector of yourself when that person was someone that you trusted and that had your loyalty. When the bear card is here, it makes you need to rise up and to protect yourself or to protect your family or to protect the things that are most important to you. And definitely the warrior card that says, look, I am not going to back down when it comes to this matter because the, the level of disrespect is just too great. And then when we have loyalty, this is, you broke my loyalty, especially with three of cups. It's like, how, why did you step outside of this? I thought that we were solid, especially with the four of pentacles here. You think that you have this solid foundation here. You think that everything is set in motion and that we're, you know, following these rights and respecting these rights and respecting our promises when in reality, they are not who it is that they said they are. And now you're questioning everything. Let me go ahead and shuffle some more cards when it comes to this reading. Yeah, Nine of Swords, this has caused you so much anxiety, tension. It's like your int your intuition has been telling you that someone is not who it is that they say they are. Or maybe on the, out on the outside, they're a warrior for everyone else. They're a protector for everyone else. But something about you, there's no loyalty there. Something about you and the connection that is that you have, no matter how deep, no matter how important and significant it is for them, no matter how divinely guided, something about them... They just, they're not showing up there for you. Not in the same way that you would for them. And the level of why is too much for a spirit to bear. We have the chariot and we have the high priestess. Yeah. So this is at trying to ask, okay, what are your motives? What are you doing? Why are you going this way? What, what, what is your intention? What is your intention with me? What is your intention for us? And then we have the high priestess here that's like, look, there is more to this than meets the eye. There's so many secrets that are going on here that you've been picking up on. And the fact that you've been picking up on these vibrations is what's making you even more anxious because it makes you feel like you're going crazy. Yeah, three, oh my gosh, you guys. Three of cups again. And the nine of wands. This is a person who's, you know, they had their defenses down. Like, why would I have a defense with you? I thought that you were protecting me and then also four of cups reversed yeah so it just th these kind of cards bother me i don't really like seeing people especially because i'm so honest and i'm so forward with certain things i don't like people lying and taking advantage of other people that's something that really really bothers me so yeah and i'm sorry i have to say like i have empathy for you in your situation i'm sorry that you if that is something that you've experienced I'm sorry that you're going through that. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Now, when it comes to health, though, there's another thing, too, that I want you guys to be aware of. Um, I still feel like for some of you guys, because this is a general reading, for some of you guys, you, you have to connect to a doctor or you have to connect with um, someone who provides support to make sure that you are healthy and vibrant. Because when we have the Three of Cups reverse showing up, twice it's the card of too much it's the card of imbalance within the body some things that are sneaking something that needs to be seen i don't want to scare anybody but these are some things that you want to be aware of okay if you feel like there's something going on in your body um it's time for you to to find out what that is it's time for you to go to the doctor especially when we have the hierophant here it's time for you to go to a professional and ask for help when it comes to that in order to decipher okay What's going on here? What's actually going on here? Because um, something's kind of sneaking away. Let's say it's not physical health. Maybe it's mental health. Maybe you've been carrying a lot of things all on your own. Maybe you've gone through some um, some aspects of deceit or deception, you know, where you kind of got your heart kind of crushed and you need a little bit of support and gentleness when it comes to you feeling safe and secure with yourself, your root chakra, and also your heart chakra, the two of those things connected. Maybe go to a, a person who can counsel you, who can talk you through it and help you to understand for the, 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 the benefit of your mental health, the benefit of your mental well-being, okay? So that's something, a lesson that is that you've learned or a challenge and what is coming through for you is quiet time new love coming to life intention you don't need to worry anymore and also healing 
So I love this because I feel like in this quiet time, in this stage where you are putting to rest all of these worries, all of these things that have really been messing, messing with you and messing with your heart and messing with your intention and making you anxious and feeling debilitated, now they're being healed. Now they're being let go of. Now we are moving forward with intention. Now we're coming back to life. Now within this quiet time, this quiet space for ourselves, we feel at peace once again. And there is new love, new blessings that's coming in. And these are things that you don't have to worry about. The things that have happened to you in the past, these past relationships that should have been protected of you or should have shown up for you and should have defended you, that is not a reflection of you and your worth and your well-being being or not your well-being but it's not a reflection of your worth and your value it has everything to do with them and your intentions that you're putting out there for love and healing and peace are things that are coming to fruition and coming to life and you actually don't need to do anything more than to just be quiet take some quiet time alone to rest meditate and contemplate and let it go Breathe, stretch, shake, and let it go, okay? So that's what it is that I'm seeing for you guys. That is the biggest blessing. There's new love. You're coming to life. Quiet time, sacred space, and you don't need to worry about anything anymore. Woo! Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning into that Pick a Card reading. Let me know how it resonated, and if you would like to see more, if you need... Uh, if you would like to, go ahead and put some suggestions down in the in the comments of other Pick a Card readings that you would like to see, and I will see you in my next video. So make sure that you're subscribed and you turn on your notifications so you know exactly when I post it. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.